What's good people? I go by the name of Flix. The Premier League is back week nine of the Premier League season. Before I start today's video, you know what to do. Make sure to sub to my channel if you're new right now and never seen my videos before. Also smash a like, I'll be very much appreciated. Let's crack on. So yes, the Premier League is back. Internationals is over for now. And it's week nine of this weekend's Premier League. And we've got some tasty games coming up this weekend. Obviously, Tottenham Fulham, my team Tottenham. We don't play till Monday, but there's a, a top six um, fight out with Chelsea and Arsenal playing Saturday evening. But if I start with the, uh, the, the fixtures... So far, so we've got Liverpool and Everton early kickoff 12.30. Then we've got Bournemouth and Wolves, Burnley, sorry, Brentford, Burnley. Let me get that right. Then we've got Man City, Brighton. That's going to be another tasty one there. Then we've got Newcastle, Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest, Luton, Chelsea, Arsenal, Sheffield United against Man United. That'd be another interesting one there. And then we've got Sunday, Aston Villa versus West Ham. And obviously my team playing Monday night football um, at the lane against Fulham. Come on. So some interesting games there, as you can see. So let me start with the first uh, kickoff of this weekend at 12.30. We've got Liverpool versus Everton, the Merseyside derby. It's always a tasty one there. A bit like the North London derby, but... Um, I was surprised with, obviously, before the Nationals, by the way, I was surprised by Liverpool only getting a draw against Brighton. Um, even though Brighton have had a very good start. So, I was a, a bit shocked with that one. But I'm going with a 3-0 Liverpool. Um, only because Liverpool have been unbeaten against Everton in the last four. And not only that, Everton are, are poor. Let's, let's admit it, they're very poor. And then we've got Bournemouth and Wolves. Again, this is a very tight fixture, especially when the last four or five fixtures of, of these two meeting up. It's been very tight, very end-to-end. -end. Um, the odd 1-0 win between them both. Um, so for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say a draw. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one uh, with these two, Bournemouth and Wolves. And then we've got Brentford and Burnley. Um, again, Brentford unbeaten uh, in the last two, if I remember rightly. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. Uh, the last time they played out, Brentford won 2-0. Um, Brentford being at home as well. I'm sure the fans will be on their back to, to get to get uh, points on the, on the board. But I can see this being another a tight one. Uh, for me, I'm going to say a draw again. I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. And then we got... Uh, Man City versus Brighton. This is going to be a tasty fixture because obviously Man City lost their last two Premier League games. The first time since 2018. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section, but I'm sure that one's right. Um, this has to be the weekend where City bounce back. Uh, no disrespect to Brighton fans, but come on. This has to be the season where... Sorry, this has to be the weekend where Man City bounce back. Bag all three points. Haaland... Banging on the goals, you know, because he's, he's not been scoring the past two games. Um, so, for me, this has to be a City win. And I'm going to say Man City 3-1. We've got Newcastle versus Crystal Palace. Um, the last three games have been 0-0. Boring. Boring. Very tight. Um, can't It can't be that same thing again this time around this weekend. Um Newcastle, yeah, they had a, a bit of a dodgy start to the season, but they've bounced back, uh, especially against that uh, poor Sheffield United team where they absolutely smashed them. Um, they've had a smashing start in the Champions League as well. First time back in the Champions League for years. Um, so they're back at St James's Park this weekend. And for me, this is only going one way. It'll be, it'll be a little bit tight, I reckon, but I'm going to say Newcastle to edge it. I'm going to say Newcastle 2-1 versus Palace. And then we move on to... Nottingham Forest and Luton. Um, 
a little bit tight as well, I reckon, with this one again. Another another tight one. Um, straight up 1-1 one, one draw. Um, it's the last four have been been very, very tight. End-to-end, you had 1-0 win here and there. But, nah, for me, straight up draw, 1-1. One, one. And then we've got the 5.30 kickoff, Chelsea versus Arsenal. Obviously, for, my, for me, you know, for myself and my Spurs family, we'd rather see a draw. Or better still... I don't say it many times, but I'd rather see a Chelsea win. But me personally, I can't see it happening. But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a two-one Arsenal for this one. Two-one Arsenal. I can't see our old manager Pochettino doing us a favour. You know, if it comes, then then thank you. But for me, I I, I really believe that Arsenal are gonna edge this one two-one. Um, at Chelsea, um, again, Arsenal are unbeaten in the last four against Chelsea. I didn't know that. I didn't know that until now. Uh, that, that that shocked me a little bit. I, th I thought Chelsea won a, won a couple in them last four, but obviously they didn't. Um, so it'd be an interesting one. But I, I really, I really feel that Arsenal, them Gunners, them Woolwich boys down the road, are going to edge this one two one. And then we move on to Sunday. Sunday, Aston Villa. Versus West Ham. I didn't know this one as well, people. Uh, West Ham are unbeaten in the last four against Aston Villa. Um, that, that surprised me. Because Villa, they're one of them bogey teams. Even though they're stepping it up. They're stepping it up. A bit like Newcastle. Stepping it up. Up in their game. Um, for me, I, I was... I was um, do you know what? This, this could... Go either way, and this is why I've done this this uh, score prediction. I've gone two two. The reason why is because both teams have, have had a very good start to this season. Both teams are scoring goals. Um, yes, Villa could win. West Ham could win, but I, I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm so I'm just gonna play it out for a, a two two draw. But let's see what happens. And then we got the Monday night game. My team Tottenham. At the lane against Fulham. Um, yes, Tottenham, we just about edged it against Luton in the last in the last Premier League game before the Nationals. Uh, on, 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 you know, it didn't help with Basuma going off in the first half uh, with a straight red. Um, so, as far as I know, still, we're going to be about Basuma. But I'm hearing rumours that Sonny and Romero are OK. Fit, firing to go for this Monday night game. So, fingers crossed. Them two boys are, are backing in the starting lineup. Um, score predictions: I'm going to say a three nil win. Three nil win. Um, so there you have it. They're, they're my score predictions. Then we move on to the tables. So as it currently stands, we've only played eight games. So we're coming into week nine. Tottenham are sitting pretty in first. Arsenal, they're not joint, but yes, mathematically they are. But come on, they're, they're second. Um, but we're both level on 20 points, but we're up there on goal difference. We, we scored, what, two more goals? Better than them, come on. Then we've got Man City in third. Lost two games. Lost two games already. That's that's really surprising. They're on 18 points. Then we've got Liverpool in fourth. They're on 17. Then we've got Aston Villa in fifth. They're on 16 points. Then we've got Brighton in sixth. Again, they're on 16 points. West Ham in seventh. They've had a decent start, West Ham, alongside Brighton and Villa as well. Very good start to the season. But West Ham are on 14 points as it currently sits. Newcastle in 8th on 13. Crystal Palace in 9th. They're on 12 points. Um, Man United, 10th. They're on 12 points. Level with uh, Crystal Palace. United have had a shocking start. And let it may continue. Come on. But <laughs> we move on. Chelsea, again, a very... Poor, shocking start to the season. They're in 11th on 11 points. Um, and we've got Nottingham Forest in 13th. They're on um, 9 points. Wolves in full, 14th place, sorry. They're in, um, they've got 8 points. Brentford in 15th. They're on 7. Everton, 16th in the league. They're on 7. Luton. Luton, we all expect them to be down there. Um, being the first time in the Premier League, they're on four. And then we've got Burnley on four as well, in sitting 18th. And then we've got Bournemouth 
only on three points. They haven't won a game yet. It's it's, it's shocking for, for Bournemouth and Sheffield United. Um, come back to the Premier League this this term. Um, again, they haven't won a se Sorry, they haven't won a game this season. They've only got one point. Um, so there you have it. That's that's the uh, the table lineup as it sits before we before we kick off again this weekend. But I just want to I just want to mention it from from my team Tottenham. Yes, I know it's still early days. We're stick we're sitting pretty in first. We've had a very good start, and a lot of people are saying, "Well, yeah, you've played a lot of the lower teams." But come on, it's it's not our fault. The fixtures have been laid out the way it is. You know, we can only play and, and try and beat who's put out in front of us weekend after weekend. Um, and a lot of football fans, maybe a few Spurs fans here and there, might not notice that the last time we had this decent start was back in 1960-61 and Tottenham went on to win the double. Come on. Like I said, it's still early days. Ange Ball is up and running. And we got got... Um, Fulham at the lane, you know, and 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 Angie's um, unbeaten, unbeaten in in his home record in the league. So let it may continue. Let it may uh, could continue to to, to uh, perform, banging in the goals. Sonny Matters linking up well, but we will see. We will see. We we we're just our Spurs family just taking it weekend after weekend, one one game at a time. That's that's all we can do because I don't want to put the mockers on it, but you know we can go on and beat Fulham and then probably lose the next weekend to to a to a team sitting bottom in the league because that's typical Spurs. That's that's what's happened in the past. So we're gonna take it one step at a time, but let it make it. You know, let let it let it may continue. We will see. We will see. But like I said, we've got some tasty fixtures coming up: Chelsea, Arsenal. Sheffield United can they can they get a result um, against Man United? Um, it'll be interesting. It will be very very interesting. But there you have it. As always, up the Spurs, come on! But um, please smash that like button. I, I appreciate it. Sub to my channel if you're new as well. Again, I would appreciate it. And um, let's move.